All right guys, so this thing's pretty much fully assembled. I'm gonna go ahead and wind up the cord real quick. There is not a little cord winder, but there is, however, the reel. I do appreciate something that I can wind up some pressure washer hose on, which is very nice. Um, so we'll go ahead and just wrap this thing around. When you mount it up, they basically designed this to uh, be mounted on the pressure washer like this. So that way it's not hitting the ground. And then, you know, you're kind of putting your little hose uh, piece over in this area right here. Um, there's not any places to put these on the pressure washer. Would have been nice if they added something, honestly. I'll probably just drill some holes like right here on the handle and uh, put them in. You know, they could have put something right here uh, to keep these in. I'm just gonna shove them right in there for now. But that is something I would like to see on this pressure washer because as you can see, those just kind of fall out. We do have the little soap thing for detergent. These work okay just for literally getting stuff sudsy. Uh, it's not really a foam cannon or anything like that. So that's something you're gonna want to uh, invest in if you're washing cars and stuff like that. However, this is a pretty inexpensive pressure washer. And you know, a lot of people just can't afford ones that are, you know, 200, 300, 500 a thousand dollars stuff like that and you're looking at one that's on amazon for good reason you know these things they do the trick they uh, usually wash your car no problem they may not have the highest psi but they do what most people want them to do now that's kind of nice i do like that little situation right there and that does seem to wrap up in a decent little package i have these three extra pieces that I gotta find some room for, and that's all right, you know? This is a very compact pressure washer. It's the whole sun. Wisdom drives the future is uh, kind of their motto on there. And yeah, let's go ahead and plug this thing in, hook a hose up to it, and try it out. Pressure feels pretty decent. This is a 40 degree head on here. This should be the least amount of pressure. So you don't want to put your hand on it when it's a higher pressure one because you could actually cut yourself. But that actually feels pretty decent. And the water output is good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and give the car a quick rinse. All right, I was noticing up here, my little windowsill, it's pretty dirty, so I'm just gonna go ahead and power wash that real fast. And you can see it's pretty adequate at doing that. So I'm using the 40 degree nozzle right here because I don't want it to be super abrasive to the paint, um, but that does seem to do a pretty decent job at cleaning up the paneling on the side of my house. So with one of these pressure washers, it's pretty wild how many things you can clean. You can clean sidewalks, you can clean the siding of your house, you can even clean out your gutters. So this is just a quick demonstration, but yeah, it actually works out pretty good. You can see the areas where I haven't pressure washed and the areas where I have. The compressor motor in this thing's pretty quiet, so that's really nice. Let's go ahead and hit one of these rocks over here that I have. Um, we'll hit it with a little bit of a stronger tip so I have a 40 degree in right now. Switching the heads is easy, but this is what you wanna do. So the white, then it goes to green. I think this is a 25 degree, yep, 25. Then you're gonna go to this orange, which is a 15 degree. And then the most abrasive, this is usually a zero, which is the red one right here. Um, so I'll show these different ones on a piece of slate that I have. So let's try this out real quick. Right, here we go with the 15 degree. So I say the 15 degree is the sweet spot for like stone and concrete, in my opinion. The zero degree, this is gonna be a very abrasive, almost like a pinpoint, um, which I don't recommend using this too often. Unless you have super dirty stuff. Let's try it out. Now that's something that's literally gonna take the stone away. It will actually 
put a divot in it. So like for example, see this little black spot? If we wanted to hit that with a zero degree. Do you see that? It literally chips some of the stone off with the PSI. So something you want to keep in mind, uh, don't use a super aggressive thing unless you're okay with something getting messed up because that pinpoint is extremely high pressured. And uh, if you run that over your hand or over your foot, you're gonna cut yourself, which it's not gonna be fun. So let me just finish out the rest of the stone with a 15. Now the problem with this is you basically have to do the rest. So anyways, it works pretty good. I'm doing a quick pre-rent to the car and then I'm gonna hit it with a foam cannon. I'll use theirs and I'll show you the one that it came with. Um, that's more of like a soap applicator um, or detergent applicator. It's not really a foam cannon. So uh, I'll show it with a foam cannon as well. See if we have enough pressure to make some good suds. Yeah, actually, I didn't have a lot of soap in there, but as you can see, the suds are uh, very thick, so it's nice. That actually works pretty well with that. So, it's pretty... So foamy, look. <laughs> I pretty much ran out of foam that I had in here. But I'll go ahead and fill up theirs and I'll show you what that looks like. So this is the little soap applicator. I'm just gonna put straight snow foam in here. I don't know. I'm going straight with the, uh, basically the thickest route that I could go. Um, that's just some drip from Expect to Auto Care. So I'll try this out. And I know that usually it does a pretty good amount of water along with this particular thing when they uh, when they supply these. So let's try that out and kind of see how it works. Speed that it did come with the little disconnect so we can put in those removable tips. Some companies sell these things and they only have like a plastic type situation like this. Um, but this particular piece is using that style, which is okay because they're only using it for this little guy, which I'm okay with because honestly, I'm not gonna use this too often. This little piece that it came with, it's in there like that. Let's see how this thing does. I'm curious. What do you think it's gonna do? I think it's just gonna look watery. Ready? Okay. Okay, so mm. it uses it up pretty quickly. It's not a snow foam, but it does apply soap to your thing. So if you wanted to like clean your house or something like that, you could do that. This is gonna apply detergent. Um, it's not my favorite way of doing it, but it works, right? So. Let's just get the rest of the car real quick. And you can see I'm already out as well. So it uses it pretty quickly too. So that's, uh, you know, not something you're gonna want to use besides maybe like using detergent or soap, which is actually what it's recommended for. But if you try to do like a snow foam, that's what you're gonna end up with. So I definitely recommend picking up a snow foam cannon if you're, uh, you know, trying to impress yourself by cleaning your car or whatnot. Um, as far as GPM goes, as far as water output, I'll do it without a tip. It's actually pretty decent flow as far as water goes. Um, but when it goes to that smaller orifice, um, obviously it's gonna slow it down quite a bit. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just wash the rest of the car. As far as this pressure washer goes, I recommend it. It, it works well, it cleans the car, you can clean stuff. It does the job that it needs to do at its price point. So I like it. Uh, thanks for watching guys. We'll talk to you soon, later, and wrench on.